What is up, fam? Welcome back to Lazy Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Cancer Zodiac sign. We are going to do a, um, let's do a love reading, man. Why not? For the month of December. Let's see what's coming in for you as far as love for the month of December 2021. All right, let's see. Let's start with the Romance Angel deck. What type of love energy is coming in for my Cancer Zodiac sign for the month of December? Forgiving and learning, okay? What is coming in for Cancer for the month of December as far as love? What is coming in for Cancer as far as love? Calling in your soulmate. What's coming in as far as love for Cancer? And flirt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the entire spread first before I begin, okay? So let's see here. Clarify the forgiving and learning card for Cancer for the month of December 2021. Clarify the forgiving and learning card for Cancer for the month of December 2021. Feel free to skip ahead. I'm going to lay out the entire spread first. Clarify for forgiving and learning for my Cancer. Clarify calling in your soulmate for Cancer. Clarify calling in your soulmate for Cancer. Clarify the flirt card for Cancer for December 2021. Clarify the flirt card for Cancer for December 2021. Clarify the flirt card for Cancer. Ooh, for December 2021. Okay. Give me one moment. I'm going to take a deep breath to allow the messages to flow through me, okay? Okay. This is the type of spread that I used to do when I first began my YouTube channel. So, we're going to go with it, all right? So, guys, the overall or underlying energy, okay, is the Eight of Swords. So, there's a lot of mental blockage here in the month of December. You may be... Um, it, it could be like mental chaos, mental over overthinking, that type of energy. Because I, I feel like you're blocked, all right? You can get out of this. It's just mental blockage. And of course, you know, it's easier said than done. It's hard to really come out of your head. I feel like you've dealt with a past situation here because we have the forgiving and learning. But I'm also seeing that something is about to come in that's really going to set you free from this mental blockage. Let me draw back just a little bit and let me come down here. There we go. Okay, so we do have the forgiving and learning card. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, okay? So for a lot of you, you're going to receive that apology message that you've been needing to really close out a situation or <clears throat> that you've been needing to open up to a brand new beginning here because I have the Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. And whatever this message is that comes through, it's really going to balance you out, is going to make you feel... Like the scales have been balanced in some sort of way as well as what I'm getting because like right now is kind of um, what I'm getting is like you're kind of back and forth, back and forth. And it's because you're in your head here with the nine, the eight of swords here. You're in your head. Yeah. And you're defensive as well. The seven of wands energy. So you really have a guard up here. But I see in the month of December that you're going to be able to release that burden, whatever this was, because there's going to be some sort of an apology. It may come through like a text message or you may see this person out and they may apologize to you or whatever it is. OK, whatever, whatever this is, is going to bring that balance back in your life that you were needing. OK, now we also have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. All right. So. Calling in your soulmate. Now, what's going to happen is once this energy has been released here that you've been holding on to, that's been putting you in this blockage, you're now <clears throat> underneath. It's going to be happening because I, I feel like it's already happening. It just hasn't, they haven't uh, brought them forward yet because you had to release this. We have the moon and the lovers. Okay. And you have to choose, you have to choose to be able to uh, allow this in. All right. So the moon card and the lovers is here. So this is all about choice. The lovers is about choice. The lovers is about choice. So you have to choose this, okay? Um, the moon card and the lovers, you, you'll decide. I'm sorry, guys. I, I Somebody kept coming in the room and interrupting me. I'm sorry. Calling in your soulmate. So now that you're releasing this, now you're making the decision to allow new love to come in your life. Now you're um, allowing new love to approach you here. And this person that's coming in is actually divinely meant for you, okay, because of what you've been through. Like this is um, Spirit's way of stepping in saying this is your person, okay. Uh, guys, bear with me one moment. I have to give, I'm sorry, I'm going to walk away real quick. Bear with me one moment. Okay, I'm 
I am so sorry, guys. I am so, so sorry. I am so sorry. My, my son is terrified of dogs. And <laughs> my brother uh, that lives with me, he has a dog and it came out of the room, so it terrified him. Okay. So um, now also in the month of December, we have the flirt card. So extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right. And so again, here comes the, the soulmate energy, a, a deep soul connection here. The two of cups and the four of swords energy is here. See, you've been in resting mode, but as you're in this resting mode and this healing mode and this because the, the four of swords comes after the three of swords. That, so that tells me that you've had a major um, a major heartbreak of some sort. It, it was a lot of pain there. But there's going to be this person that comes in that's going to be, again, divinely guided for you, Cancer, in the month of December. And they're coming in as this Two of Cups energy, like a soul connection. Someone that's going to be able to connect with you on a deeper level. Again, the moon and the lovers is here. So they haven't yet been revealed is what I'm feeling. Or they have not yet been brought to the forefront because you're still dealing with this energy. But the moment that you release this, this is when this person is going to step into your life. Okay? Or even with the moon energy, they could actually be in your life yet they just haven't revealed themselves as to how they feel about you or coming forward towards you okay but I feel like the moment that you um they just said they're going to help you heal as well so for some of you this person is going to help you heal by showing you what true love really is or what a true love connection really is as well so that's beautiful I like that okay let's see what other message do you want to give cancer i'm going to try to do the original reads that i used to do back in the day when i first started youtube almost a year and a half ago okay what other message or advice do you have for cancer what is the advice that you have for cancer what is the advice that you have for cancer Ooh, manifest magician energy okay yes and then we also have the refusing to see on the bottom of the deck all right so this here you'll be able to get into this magician energy the exact love that you want you are capable and able to manifest this okay you have the power to create this you just have to send it to the universe okay once you've come out of this energy because if you're in the energy of um that person really hurt me. I can't move on. I can't move forward. I can't find love. Then you won't find love. But if you change that up into I am open to love. I welcome love in my life. I am lovable. Okay. Then you can manifest this deep love connection here. But it's it's all up to you. It's all about to how you're putting out in the universe. Okay. So you have to remember that as well. You just have to get out of your head here. Again, eight of swords. You're stuck in your head. And I feel like it's, it's due to this past situation here that you've dealt with. Okay. Um, now, what else can, what other love messages? Let's do this one here. This is the Lover's Oracle deck. What other love message do you have for Cancer? Woo! Okay. So we have two cards that slid out. I'm going to take those. We have, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay? That's your card. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. When this person comes in, I'm telling you, this is going to be like next level shiz night it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going to be a really, really deep, deep love connection. And I'm, I, I'm not getting the energy of anyone from the past. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to have to be honest with that. I do feel like somebody here is going to come in with an apology, but it's more of releasing you from this energy. Um, that's going to allow you to move forward to this new deep type of love energy here like this soulmate connection that's divinely meant for you because of everything you've dealt with okay and we also have this and it says friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve okay for some of you this could be a person that uh, may come in as a friend all right may just come in as a friend may want to come in and just you know uh, talk to you be around you hang with you that type of energy but this person is really like a so it could turn into something so much more like your true lover okay because you know soulmates soulmates don't necessarily have to be a lover but this is a love reading it could be someone that's like a best friend right but this could also be a best friend that's been around okay that's been around you but they've never revealed how they felt right and then they finally open up in the month of december as in hey look i've always been in love with you and i really want to give this a go and then you have to be willing to open up to it and flirt with the uh with the idea okay so i'm gonna leave it there cancer this is your reading i hope this gives you some clarity and some insight i appreciate you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video Bye, guys.